Longhorn Steakhouse is embracing its roots and going all in on beer, bourbon, and tequila. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan to yes. me. Uh, so what's the best drink to have with your steak? Grill master Samantha Huff is here to show us some pairings that will really hit the spot. Welcome to the show. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You want to start by showing off your uh, Tom Cruise cocktail skills? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, well, traditionally, uh, red wine is actually the pairing that everybody thinks of when they come to steak. But Longhorn has a heritage that kind of goes to quality bourbon, ice cold beer, oh, yeah. and great margaritas. So we've cultivated a lineup that has great pairings with those bold flavors, and it pairs perfectly with our steaks. And we've come up with a new Three Dons margarita, um, a long pour option that is our, for our top three selling margaritas, and a more locally selected beers on tap, which pair greatly nice. with our steaks. So we can begin with making our uh, Three Dons margarita. So when we make these, we shake these in a shaker, and then we present them on the table. And so You do this at the table? Well, okay. we make them, and then we take the shaker in, and then we shake them at the table and cool. pour them for the guests. Okay. So, Chris, are you ready to help shake for this? Yeah, you can shake. I'll let you do that. Absolutely. Okay, That'll be awesome. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo is just around the corner, too, so this is uh, perfect timing. Yeah. You can buy these at any... Uh, any local liquor store, these margarita or these uh, tequilas, these are Don Julio tequilas. We have the Añejo, the Resposado, and the Blanco. And that's what we put in our three Dons. So we first add um, one of each of the tequilas. Wow. So what's the difference between the three? Well, the Blanco is distilled very quickly. The Resposado means rested. So it's got like a three to 11 month life. And then we have the Añejo, which is vintage, so that cures in the in the barrel um, twelve months or more. Nice. Wow, interesting. Oh. You and know your you do know your tequila. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> it's not a day without tequila, right? <laughs> then we add a Juarez triple sec with that, and then we also have our Longhorn Margarita mix. We add that wow. to it. All right, we got that. Put the lid on there. You want to shake? Go for it. Let's see you. All I right. want to see if you can do the Tom Cruise thing. Oh, you well, no, I'm not going to be twisting anything <laughs> around and tossing it up in the air. I'll probably hit myself in the head. <laughs> anyway, we shake that. All right. And then it goes right in there. And you can get a salted rim or a non-salted rim. I don't trust people who don't that. have a salted rim. <laughs> right. I, mean, I do like a salted rim, though. <laughs> and then a couple... A couple you. lime wedges for you, and there you go. You're ready Ooh. to go. That's wow. a right on. See, I, the fact that you knew all of that about tequila, I'm like, I have a feeling that's going to be absolutely delicious. This is delicious. a fabulous, <laughs> a yeah. fabulous margarita. You really can't, you really can't uh, go wrong with that kind of margarita. Okay, so on um, to the on to the meat then. Okay, on to the meat. So um, the the aging of the three tequilas pairs fantastic with our Fleur's filet. And because it, you've got a layered buttery texture um, on top of the other flavors that go into the steak, and that's the the aging of the tequila, that's what makes that very very uh, good together. Um, they pair very very well. So when it comes to grilling steaks, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, our certified grill masters are uh, they they are trained specifically on grilling techniques for us. We have two different grilling types. We have a flat top grill, which we're using today, which is perfect for the filet. It creates a nice crust on the seasonings that we have. We also have an open an open flame char grill that we use for our bigger bone-in steaks that get, that mm. lend that smoky flavor to it. So when it comes to a flat top, we're using a flat top here. This is a griddle that you can buy anywhere. Um, and that works really, really well at home when it comes to um, grilling your steaks. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go for the seasonings. So I have the fillets here and you're going to take one of these fillets and you're going to heavily season it. We are not shy at all. We boldly season all of our steaks Love that. Um, because you want to get that flavor. Don't be, don't be scared to do it. Um, so you're going to do that. You're going to rub that in really nice. Nice. So that it stays on there. Mm, Make sure that's that. nice and pretty. 
massage it. Yep, absolutely. Because you want it to stay on there. So many people are afraid to, to do this. And then when you start the grilling process, half of your seasoning is stuck on the grill and then you don't get that flavor. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want a nice oil surface. It protects the is this surface. Is olive oil or does it matter what you use? This using? is canola oil, but it oh, doesn't okay. really matter canola. what you use. Um, then you're gonna put that on there and let that sit. Mm. You can hear that sizzle, nice mm. and pretty. It sounds like deliciousness. Yep, and you're gonna wanna let that sit. We turn our steaks every three to four minutes. So depending on the, how the doneness of the steak that you would prefer, um, that's how many turns you're gonna get. So if you want something oh. that's rare, you're gonna do like three to four minutes on each side and you're good to go. Um, if you want something medium rare, you're gonna wait a couple more turns on that. So we got about 30 seconds left. Where are you guys located at? Any specials going on? Um, we are at 4410 13th Avenue. We have a new uh, happy hour that's all day long. And <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and it definitely, um, it definitely uh, has a lot of different things. We have draft beers, we have special margaritas, and we have a Jack Daniels 4.99 and our mule mug that's served all day long as well. I love wow. it. And go ahead and ask when you get there what would pair great with your steak. It doesn't have to be the red wine. I no, love that. It does not. Good stuff. Well, thank you so much. And magic of TV. This is what it looks like when it's done. Absolutely. I prepared one earlier for Beautiful. you so that you could take a look at it after it was done. Stay with us. Coming up next. The thaw at Blue Water Creek is just days away now. We're going to hear from a couple more businesses about what's happening on Thursday.